Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms and we've got Katie with us. How's it going guys? And we're at the NRA annual meet here in Houston, Texas. Excited to go check out a couple of new things that some manufacturers uh, are displaying. What are you excited about? Uh, my boy Jeff over at Christensen said he's got something new for me. Oh uh, really? So you yep. already walked by, you already saw him? Well, you know, we're friends, so. Oh, that's right, you're invited to Thanksgiving. Anyway, I'm actually excited to get over to HK and see who I'm going to be interviewing. Uh, maybe Glock will have more trivia. Maybe FN has a multicam scar. Are you excited about that? I mean, let's find out. Mm -hmm. We know your love for the scar. <laughs> We're over here with Century Arms, and dude, it's always so good to see you. It's always good to see you too, bro. And uh, I've been pretty excited about what you're holding here. I've shot a lot of the Vishkas. Uh, they've always run really well for me and everything, but we know for a fact that Clint Smith with Thunder Ranch has had uh, pretty much his hands very well very well invested in this rifle, is that right? Absolutely. So Clint is one of those guys that is probably one of the foremost experts in the United States in terms of that urban battle rifle. And his selection for what we are partnering with was an AK. Um, when I asked him why, he said, well, I've been hit with one and ow. So I was like, okay, I mean, how do you really argue that? Right. So he said, well, what would you want to see on a, an American-made battle rifle? And he yeah. said, on that AK, there's got a, a couple of things. You need to be able to grip it. U.S. Palm Grip. He said he just pay a little homage to the Marine bloodline with the red. Okay. So, I mean, it, it pops. And he said, you know what? If the SOB doesn't like it, he can change the color. I mean, that's literally as Clint as you can get. Yeah. Um, the U.S. Palm Mag, U.S. Palm Grip, the Enhanced Safety Selector. And then the only other thing he said, you got to be able to see when you fight. Yeah. So an RS Regulate side mount that you know allows you to mount a light yeah. and then he said you need to learn to be able to fight with your with your uh, iron sights they never go down the battery doesn't run yeah. so you know some little things that he wanted to do to make a gun that was really the everyman the blue collar guy's gun that then he could go out and really train with learn with and be proficient with right. and when clint smith asks to do something you do it yeah absolutely so if you guys aren't familiar with clint smith with thunder ranch definitely look him up and uh Let's just go ahead and talk about it really quick. We are gonna give away one of these rifles, and on top of that, Century Arms is going to uh, pretty much host all of this, and the winner of this giveaway is going to fly out with us to Thunder Ranch. It's a two-day course, right? It is, so, you know, Thunder Ranch is one of those things, not only is it hard to get to, yeah. but it's hard to get in. Yeah. Um, the guy's learned, the guy knows more, and has forgotten more than we'll ever know in a lifetime, especially, you know, you even with all your knowledge. Um, it's, it's one of those things, it's, it's humbling to be in his presence and yeah. what you can pick up in two days is something that truly can save your life yeah. and um, just makes you a better all around shooter and kind of makes you a better all, all around person, yeah. which, you know, we could probably use a little of. Um, so we're going to take the time, we're going to bring some people out, yeah. uh, we've got some influencers, Oh, influencers we've got some writers we've got some uh, some industry partners and we want to go out and reach out to somebody that's just a another part of the 2a community which is the end user yeah. the consumer and we want to give one of these away we want to fly them out we want to put them up we're gonna have dinner with the Smiths every night we're gonna shoot for two days and then we're gonna come home and hopefully that's something that not only can we take as a memory for the rest of our lives but so can this individual and it's just a little thank you from us and from Thunder Ranch to our community that's super exciting so be on the lookout this will be happening very soon uh, the dates that we've got set up right now August 14th 15th for the entire course and everything so this giveaway is gonna be going live very soon be on the lookout for it and one of you guys is gonna fly out with us shoot with us talk with Clint Smith I'm personally I'm super excited for it so Adam dude I'm excited for this always good to see you brother I, uh, you too as well guys stay tuned we got more coming hi guys we are now over here with Aimpoint. we have Keith with us Keith thanks for taking time out of your day to you know give us a little information hey, thank you for you guys stopping by the Aimpoint booth we really appreciate it we're happy to be here at the NRA show hey we're thrilled uh, so you said there's two that you really want to show off for us can you tell us a little about the first one Correct. So we have two products right now that are uh, uh, gaining a lot of attention, okay. uh, pretty substantial product. So the first one that's really cool, this is all the rage right now, the Aimpoint Acro. Yes. So this is our uh, pistol mounted sight, although we do have it obviously on a long gun here because right. it's a very versatile sight for some, for some neat reasons. But in any case, this is our second generation. Okay. So it's the Acro P2. Uh, we have now a 50,000 hour runtime in a fully enclosed, super durable handgun sight. Nice. So, aim point quality, aim point reliability. It's going to be super convenient and easy to use. You can mount them to your handguns, which, by the way, if you haven't shot Red Dot on a handgun, you got to try it. It's amazing. <laughs> and because it's fully enclosed and very durable, you can also run it on long guns. So, we have mounts available for pretty much everything. Whatever you want to put it on, you can put it on. It weighs just over two ounces. And we're selling these for $5.99. Awesome. So, it's a very good value on the Acro. So, excellent. Excellent site. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of demand. I've heard those are really 
heard. Yeah, I was gonna say I've Correct. heard. I've heard they're hard so, to find. So we do have a lot of demand on them, uh, but just keep your eyes open uh, with with our dealers. Also at Aimpoint.us, we do sell them, so we do send out notifications. So we appreciate everybody's patience. Just hang in there. We're getting them out. We got a lot of uh, a lot of people that need these right now. Nice. Uh, but we're we're making a lot of them, sending them out, and availability is going to improve as time goes on. So, awesome. So yeah, uh, we'll get on that list. Yep. So these are fantastic. <laughs> and then moving on. Uh, so this is a relatively new release. This is the Duty RDS. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what's very cool about this site is you have a, again, excellent, you know, aim point site. So battery life's uh, three years constantly on, submersible, super durable, all that good stuff. Uh, this one is in a small form factor. Uh, so it's lightweight, it's small, it utilizes the same interface as the Micro, which everybody's uh, familiar with. It's a little different mount height, but it does come with the mount from the factory. So it's out of the box onto the gun. And what's so great about this is the value as well. So you're, you're paying $4.99 retail for this site. Wow. So that so it, is the quality, I'm just going to ask you, is the quality changed not much? At, not at all. So awesome. this so this site is still made in Sweden. It's still made to aim point, you know, design, specification, quality control. It was basically built with law enforcement in mind, right? And departments yeah. have budgets and individual officers, yeah. they have to purchase their optics, you know, and they have a budget, right? Right. So we designed it to meet all the, the you know, high demand of, of a professional use optic that, that it needs to, but then cutting out where we can to get the price down, right? So like, for example, it has a, a, a one piece mount that it comes with, which is not quick detach, which again, law enforcement typically don't need that. They right. put it on their duty carbine. And it's there. So that brings the cost down. Uh, we also have, uh, for the first time, we have a forged uh, aluminum housing. Uh, again, it's a first frame point, super strong, nothing, you know, wrong with it, obviously, versus a milled, it's, it's right. you know, incredibly strong, uh, but it's less expensive to manufacture. Uh, we also have a digital uh, push pad on the side, because one thing we wanted to do, again, with law enforcement in mind, is make it real slick, right? So when yeah. it's coming out of the, the rifle rack in the car, it doesn't get hung up. Yeah. So we did a digital uh, uh, keypad, essentially a push pad for the intensity adjustment on the dot to make it nice and slick, but it also, again, reduces cost. So through measures like that, we were able to get the price down on the optic, but not have to make any compromise or sacrifice with reliability, durability, so on and so forth. So again, those are available for aimpoint.us, $4.99 for the Duty RDS. Awesome. Uh, very excited about that. Dude, that's awesome. I'm super excited about it. I think we need like only like 30 of each, at least, just for video purposes. 35. 35, fair enough. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for letting us, you know, Thanks have so your much. time. Yeah, we appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, of course. We'll see you next time. Uh, Ron, I can't find Clint. <laughs> Wait. Do you see him? Do you see this? Bro. Clint. We have work to do. Dude, but I got a shirt, though. I literally yeah, just got the it. shirt. So you can calm down about your work, all right? No, this we, is work. We still have things to do. Like, but I'm trying to get a Clint. patch now. Can you hold that? Phone no, we have to go back to work. All right, dude. I got you, Katie. I'll Ryan. go to work. I'm trying to get a patch. We're over here now with CZ, personally one of my favorites out there. And uh, you guys got some new stuff coming out and we'd love to talk about it. Dylan, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And uh, so what what all we got here? Yeah, so we'll start here. So we've got the new uh, seven inch uh, three plus. So building on the three plus micro, just extend the barrel out a little bit. Got the nice faux suppressor on here. Uh, change the sights a bit too. So they're nice aluminum sights, but they actually lower one third co-witness on here. So just like the micro. Um, We've redesigned uh, everything, so it will take new magazines, um, so you can go backwards, but you can't go front ways. So the Evo mags won't fit into these because of the new magazine release. Right. So it's more like AR style, so right. it gets you a little bit more familiar with, you know, everybody's using ARs now. We redesigned the grip as well, so now the safety won't dig into your hand anymore. Um, I know that was a big complaint for quite a while, so um, that's, that's, a, that's a great feature as well. Um, change the paddle down here. Um, for the slide stop release. Um, other than that, overall, I mean, this is this is going to be a popular option out there. Yeah, well, it's definitely a good-looking um, gun for sure, and I've, I've already shot the micro quite a bit, so I'm yeah. excited to get the 7 inches in. The faux suppressor on it is definitely pretty neat looking. I haven't seen that type of design uh, specifically like that, but anyway, well, very cool. I like the really like the lower on it. That, yeah, that's a cool. Lower's my yeah, favorite part. That's sure. a good look. All right, and continuing on here, we got a couple of other pistols. Yeah, so the TS2, um, it's actually already been out uh, a little bit right now, so uh, most people know about the TS2 already. Uh, we are going to introduce the 40 cal uh, in the TS2 now, so for those uh, shooting the competition that want a little bit more 
patent instead of a nine millimeter. Yeah. You've got the 40 option as well. So there's not a whole lot on that one. Uh, this is the popular one that everybody was really wanting us to bring out, which is the TS2 Green. Mm -hmm. So building on top of what the TS2 is, um, you know, you, you we take it up a notch with this one. So now you've got full um, extended uh, controls on either side. Um, you can flip it either way. Um, you've got an extended magazine release here, and then you've got your thumb rest here as well. Um, so that one, that one definitely was a a, a top. Um, requested uh, item to come over. Everyone's still waiting on the bronze. I don't have anything to say about the bronze yet, but okay. uh, the green is definitely going to be a great option for those that want a little step up from just the standard TS2s. Yeah, no, well, I, first of all, the CZ race guns are awesome, right? All right, so we got a couple of long boys here now, so let's yeah. go, let's jump into these. Got the long guys, so we've got our Project Upland guns here, so we've got a few different options when it comes to the Project Upland guns. Um, so. Basically, uh, for those that don't know, Project Upland, we partnered with them to kind of build um, shotguns that they requested, consumer features that they wanted specifically. So you've got the nice grade three wood on here, uh, the nice engraving as well. So you've got Project Upland on the side, all the engravings. Um, these are kind of a limited run of guns, so these are gonna be a little hard to get for a while. Um, but you've got a few different options. Uh, the Drake's gonna come out in one. There's a Bob White Project Upland, and there's a few more around the corner as well. Nice. So if you guys wanna see those, yeah. we'll have all those on display as well. Awesome, cool. This one's building on the 457 with the Manners stock that we've kinda already had, uh, but we've, ma we've partnered with Manners to get a different stock on here, so now we've got an adjustable cheek piece as well. So um, it's all carbon fiber, um, so crazy light. Um, I've actually shot these ones uh, myself. Um, this makes someone like an average shooter like myself shoot yeah. incredibly well. So, yeah. I mean, you can hold that one. Wow. Yeah, that feels awesome. I mean, yeah, I, I like that. And of course, threaded up front. So Absolutely. inevitably you're throwing a silencer on that. Yep, yeah. definitely. That's solid. I like that quite a bit. All right, so building on to now the 600. So this is the rifle that's replacing all of our center fires. So the 527s, the 557s, uh, this is gonna replace it all. So okay. now we've got a control round feed, which everybody really wanted. Uh, we've only changed it up slightly so that you have a short extractor now. So it's not quite the Mauser design, but um, it's up there. You've got a vertical safety, so you just push up or down. Yeah. So nice. pretty intuitive, so if you're out there, you know, you can, just click it real quick. Yeah. Um, integrated Picatinny rails up top, so you can just bolt on just about anything you want. Um, these are becoming in several different uh, caliber and action sizes. So you've got three different sizes. Uh, you'll have a, a mini, a medium, and a large. So anywhere from 223 all the way up to 300 Win Mag. Um, we'll have new ones coming out later, but that's just about most of your popular calibers are going to be coming uh, while they're already out. Uh, at least for the alpha model. So this is going to be more of your kind of do-it-all hunting rifle. Gotcha. Um, you can lock the magazine in. I don't have one here to do. You can lock it in place so that you can actually feed from the top as well. Oh, that's so cool. that's yes. a big feature yeah. what people nice. wanted. So we've got our range here. So this is going to be basically your just uh, target shooting gun. So you've got a nice laminate stock here. Um, this is actually a steel receiver up top instead of the alpha's got an aluminum just to make it a bit lighter to take out go hunting. Um, You've got Remington 700 bases up top, as you will have with the Lux model as well. So any Remington 700 bases you've got or scope rings, they'll go right on here, no problem. Um, the big feature for the range, um, you're gonna have a guaranteed uh, three-quarter MOA with a five-shot group, because um, they'll all be cold hammer forge barrels. So you've got a semi-heavy on the Alphas, um, you've got a thin, uh, thin barrel on the Lux models, and then you've got our full heavy barrel, yeah. all cold hammer forged on there. So. Um, those ones will be great options for those that want to do target shooting. You've got your extended or your uh, enlarged bolt knob, yeah. and then you've got an adjustable chalk, um, cheek piece down here. So nice. you'll be able to yeah. set it up well, just it's like It's gorgeous. You want. Yeah, it looks great. Um, and then this one's going to be pretty popular, I think. Um, a, lot of, a lot of our guys that like our rifles, they really like the wood we put on there. Um, so going back to Turkish Walnut, um, the Lux model, we've redesigned the sights uh, front and back. Um, so that you get a little bit nicer uh, picture, in my opinion, over what the 527 had right. uh, with the nice hogback design. So this will accommodate really either looking through the irons or putting an optic on here. Um, you'll have the same features as all the others on here except for the thin barrel, yep. um, but you still get the nice um, sub MOA guarantee that we do for these and the alphas. Yeah, well that's awesome. Man. Well, all of this was beautiful. Excited to see some of it show up in our warehouse, but I, I, I gotta ask this question though. Big question, right? Can we, like, maybe fingers crossed, hold my breath, expect a 308 Bryn anytime soon? I don't have anything to say about the 308 <sighs> Bryn. Yeah. Other than you can, you can keep holding your breath, but 
you know, we get a lot of requests for it, so we'll definitely see what we can do. But yeah. I can't say that there's one on the way or there isn't one on the way at the moment. So. All right, fair enough. Cool, guys. Well, hey, just let them know down in the comments how much you want a 308 Bryn. All right, <laughs> hey, Dylan, thanks for taking the time. Absolutely, guys. All right, guys, now we are over here with POF USA, and we have Jeremy with us. Jeremy, thank you for taking time out of your day. You know, tell us a little bit about this. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, yeah, I'm Jeremy with Patriot Ordnance Factory. We're here at the 2022 NRA show. This is our new Phoenix 9mm sub gun. It's got an 8 inch barrel, double port muzzle brake. It's got a non reciprocating folding ambidextrous charging handle. So you just use it right here, pull it back. This lever can be switched either side, like I said, so it's ambidextrous that way. Uh, it's got a hand stop so you don't get your hand out there too far. M lock rail system. Standard AR-15 lower parts kit goes in here. Awesome. Uh, ambidextrous safety. It's got a QD point with a 1913 rail se section back here. Yeah. And it comes with a single point sling. Oh, awesome. Uh, it has a proprietary 35 round double stack single feed magazine. So it's not an MP5 not mag. Not an MP5 mag, and it's not a you know your Glock mag. Uh, it's our own proprietary version. There may or may not be uh, other firearms coming out that use that same magazine. So when you ask why, that's probably it. Um, Could be the start of something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but that's it. Uh, that's our new Phoenix 9mm sub gun. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Well, that's an interesting looking scope. It looks just like the one on our current giveaway, the Barrett M82. Let's find out how to enter to win that guy. Oh yeah, man. Oh, hey guys, I hope you've been enjoying the coverage so far. Uh, guess what guys, we're giving away this bad boy. That is right, this is the Bear M82A1 with the EOTech Voodoo Optic. Head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your entries. Utilize what code word? 2A. 2A, that'll get you a couple hundred extra. Yep. All right, sweet, let's get back to it. We're over here now with the EOTech. We got John with us, thanks for taking the time, man. Yeah, no problem. And uh, I gotta say, the one to 10, is impressive. Can you just kind of talk about it a little bit? Yeah, we're really proud of it. Uh, just started shipping about a month and a half ago. It is a 1 to 10. There's not many out there. And if you look at the size of it compared to 1 to 6s and 1 to 8s, I mean, it's really, really short. So you're not uh, sacrificing the length of it. It's a 34 millimeter tube, so you got a lot better light coming in. Uh, we did keep a low profile uh, elevation turret that has a locking feature to it, nice. up and down locking. Yeah. And it's got a capped windage, so you don't ever have to mess with that. Um, we kept our one-piece eyepiece for easy manipulation, yep. and every Voodoo comes with the throw lever that's removable. Yep. Uh, just really slick. St same thing with our illumination buttons. It's the uh, on-off at top, and then you can control the brightness um, with the buttons on the side. We have three reticles that we include in here, and they're all... Um, two of them are MRAD and one is MOA for those um, you know different types of shooters. Uh, CR one two or I'm sorry, CR twenty thirty two battery. MSRP is about seventeen ninety nine. So yeah. we're really happy with it. No, well, so I've been playing with this one here, and I'm excited to actually throw it on one of mine and, and really start running it. But the, I got to say, the eye box on it, the eye relief, even at ten power, full magnification, I you really kind of lose that on a lot of different optics. Yeah. You know, was, uh, LPVOs. You know, you start playing a little bit more, you get into the double digits of that magnification. You're like, ah. Right. scope shadow everywhere where am I at that came natural that was very good we're really proud of this because uh, and you probably know enough about optics when you try to get everything yeah. you, you lose something you have to compromise somewhere so yeah. it's either length or eye box or eye relief right. and we really have a good combination of everything yeah. so yeah we're really proud of it well it's, it's rock solid and like I said I'm excited to, to we might throw it on a giveaway one day uh, but anyway we've also got you guys got a uh, optic that's not magnified that's right. right next door ever, uh, pistol sight we can take a look at that let's do it so now we've got the eflex correct yeah so the eflex is our first pistol sight ever you know we waited a long time tried to do something holographic but you really just can't shrink that uh, technology down and we wanted to get in the game because everything's going optics on pistols so uh, we introduced the eflex uh, one really cool thing about it is we kept the aspect ratio of the window to the holographic site. So if you're using the holographic, the transition is really clean to this. The other part, if you look through this compared to any other uh, pistol sight, ours is so clear and transparent compared to the ones that use like a red or a yellow um, filter to it. So 
the uh, field of view and the transparency the, is really, really solid. It's 2032 battery, fits on a Delta Point Pro footprint. Okay. Um, it's got eight brightness settings, and one of them is uh, crazy bright. It's ultra bright. Yeah. So you get outside in the sunlight and the, the white clouds and all that, you see it really quick. Yeah. It's got one night vision setting if you're going to run that way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, push buttons on the side. And one cool feature we did, because it's like a 50-50 deal, some people want it on all the time. Yep. Some people want to conserve battery life. So you can turn it on different ways and have it always on or have it shut off after um, no use. Yeah. So we're really proud. This is uh, 389 MSRP and starts yeah. shipping this month. That's awesome. And what kind of battery life can we get out of these? Uh, depends on the dot size. We have two yeah. dot sizes, 3 MOA and 6. Yeah. We always quote 6 MOA because it's shorter battery life. It's about 20,000 okay. at, at minimal or at the medium setting. Yeah. So well, yeah, it's one of those things you've got to change it every couple of years. Yeah. Right, yeah. I, I typically go by like, you know, I, I need a on some of my optics. I'm like, uh, about every two weeks I check it, something like that, ah, I'll, be, I'll be fine. Yeah. Every other year I'll check it. <laughs> yeah, and you can leave it on with, with uh, confidence that it'll be there. Right, yeah, John, hey, thanks for taking the time. Excited to get yeah. the E-Flex in. Excited to get the one to 10 on a couple of guns. Thanks, thanks. man. Thanks for coming yeah. by. You got it. We're over here now with Kadex. You guys might remember we shot quite a bit of at SHOT Show. Katie was hitting that thousand yard at the 375. It, it was awesome. Yeah. And uh, But anyway, Rob, thanks for taking the time with us today, man. Thank you guys and, for coming uh, by. Absolutely. And talk to us about this gorgeous piece of machinery here. So this is our Kraken uh, multi-caliber rifle, or system, if you will. Um, it is just what I said. It's a short, uh, short action caliber families up to CIP length. So you've got uh, you know, the ability to get one base rifle and convert that into a 308, a 260, a 65 Creedmoor, a 300 PRC, the uh, 338 Lapua and the 300 Normal, which is one of my personal favorites. Yeah, that's fantastic, man. Can you tell us a little bit more, kind of like about the design, anything like that? So the way that the system works is uh, it's it's kind of proprietary to us. Uh, you'll get some multi-cal systems where you've got an aluminum block that kind of clamps the barrel to hold it in place. The torque tool that we use actually will bite into the face of the barrel, and that's essentially how we'll torque and detorque the system. And then we use this tool within the action. That'll actually be kept or held by the action. And then you can see the, the inner inner diameter of this tool will spin and engage with the barrel. So we, we advertise less than point of impact shift if you have one caliber and torque it and detorque, it's less than a tenth of a mil. So there's nothing like that on the market. So it's something you can do on a tailgate at the range. Yeah. Uh, and then the other unique thing too is like, let's say you zero with a 308 and create that profile on your Kestrel. Right. You can do a zero offset, create a new a new new gun profile within the within the ballistic computer, annotate the zero offset, right. switch calibers, and that's gonna you know that because because you're gonna have one scope right, exactly. on the gun. Yeah. Uh, but when you when you when you calibrate that and create that different gun profile, yeah. uh, do the zero offset. It's gonna it's gonna compensate your dope yeah. for that new caliber. Yeah. That's, that's impressive, yeah. and I and I really like that. The overall design and everything, and like having shot some of y'all's products, I had shot earlier this year, which is fantastic time. Great shooting stuff. Guys, check out Kadex. Rob, thanks for taking the time, thanks man. Thanks for stopping by. You got it. Hi, guys, we are over here with Shane from Glock. Yep. So, I've never been a huge fan of Glocks, but you guys have something new that I'm actually pretty excited about. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so the new pistols that we have out here at the show are the Slimline MOS, which would be the G43X and the G48. We now have the MOS option for those. We have optics that will fit those Slimline models. And we have the MOS and the G45 as well for the new Acro P2. That's pretty awesome. So these come with the base plates or those are additional things? The, the aim point will come with the base plate to fit our pistol. So it comes ready for the optic on it. Awesome, is there anything else that you guys want to point out while we're here? We have the G45, the okay. G44, and the Slimline MOS. Those are gonna be the new models that we have out and we obviously recommend them to everybody. Awesome, well guys, Glock put something new out and I'm pretty excited about it, so thank Perfect. you. thank you so much. <laughs>We're now with Shadow Systems. We got Chad with What's us. What's up, Clint? How are you, brother? Dude, good to man. see you again, man. Good to see you, dude. And I gotta tell you, we shot it at Shacha. Yep. The CR. Yes. The CR 
tell us about it, man. Yeah. I'm excited for it. So it is out now fully. We've been shipping these for, oh, I don't know, six weeks or so. Yeah. So the CR920, you saw it at SHOT Show. This is our new, the Covert Roll. So this is our new subcompact that came out. So overall size is going to be similar to that of like a Glock 43, right. but it's going to have a flush fit 10 plus one round instead of a six. Okay. Um, you've got, uh, you got optics cut, our patented optics system on it. You can get it with, a, you know, the combat slide or the elite slide yep. with the window cuts. This elite slide has the 13 round uh, extended mag as well. Yeah. So these are gonna fit in your 43X MOS holsters as well too. So we wanted true, you know, subcompact. We're seeing, you know, I know you've seen this too, right? The subcompact market got small, then all of a sudden these subcompact guns keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're like, yeah. now you're back up to like an MR size again. So we're like, we wanted small. So true, you know, pocket carry if you wanted with that 10 round, yeah. uh, you know, gun. So, so that's out now. We're really excited about this. It's been shipping for a while. And doing really well. I think you guys have had some go through as well, so we're excited about that. Yes. So that's out now, the CR920. Yep. Then we also have, you also shot at SHOT Show, right? Yeah. The DR920P. Yes. So the compensated gun. So yeah. the DR, our full size, you know, grip, 17 plus one capacity with the built-in compensator. So yeah. the P is the performance model. Um, so some things really, really cool about the P model and the compensated model is it's a it's an attached comp, not on a threaded barrel. Yep. So we wanted that so that we can sell it into jurisdictions that like New York where you can't have a threaded barrel. This is this allows you to sell it there. We also have the sight on the comp itself yep. so that as your slide reciprocates back and forth, that front sight stays in place. Yep. It's so fun, so flat shooting. Yep. Um, this gun, we, we really kind of brought it out initially thinking, hey, this is gonna be like a, you know, more of a fun range gun. We actually already have it running in law enforcement agencies, yeah. and which surprised the heck out of us with tack teams and stuff, because yeah. they were running like 34s and stuff, but they wanted yeah. something flatter shooting, and so this gun's out there now. So That's we're really excited to see yeah. what's happening with that. So the DR920P as well is is out. So yeah. yeah. Dude. Well, that's awesome, and I think that's really cool too that you've integrated the front sight onto the comp, and then it's not a thread to barrel. So that way, like you said, those states that don't allow that, and then you've already got. I mean. Obviously, like the 34, like you're saying, on the for the tack right. teams, it's a longer slide and everything with the built-in comp. Yeah, super flat you're, shooting. You're ready to go yeah. and run. So yeah. it's it's been very, very fun and doing really well. Yeah, well, all right. So you guys already know I'm excited for the CR. That's yep. probably going to be my new, my new concealed carry there. Um, but also, too, uh, personally, I'm a fan of War Poet, War Poet, yeah. Warrior Poet Society, yeah, John, John Lovell. Lovell and the crew. Yeah, yeah so if yeah. we want to step over here, we got the, the Warrior Poet gun. Yeah. Uh, and we will be, June 20th, releasing the CR920 War Poet edition as well too oh, cool. so that's coming out soon too we have the mr920 war poet edition so this is what we did in conjunction with john lovell and the warrior poet society it's got the warrior poet logo on the side of it some design elements that he wanted to include into it and then it says war poet on the barrel itself this is the mr version and we have the dr version so we have the compact and the full size and then as i mentioned june 20th the CR version of this will will be available as well. It's going to have all the same features we, we talked about on the CR, just in a smaller package. It's going to have the red trigger safety and all that too, and and his logo and stuff on it. So this is coming very shortly. It will have the uh, Hollow Sun 507K, the small optic on it uh, on, oh, cool. on it as well. Yeah. So 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 what were some of the features that John wanted that yep. that were thrown on this? So a couple things. Obviously he wanted logo. He he was they wanted the uh, serrations to be a little bit different. So you can see they're kind of this angular serration as opposed to our our kind of uh, you know straight, straight edge, edge yeah. ones um, he had some you wanted a different design pocket to be a little bit different and uh, obviously incorporating in their logo and thing and then of course they you know the red trigger safety to match their logo and everything so well so those are those are some of the things that they really wanted really kind of on the aesthetic side yeah. of it um, but yeah the the war poet's been doing really well and, and I'm certain the uh, CR 920 war poet yeah. is gonna do well as well absolutely and is it and it is coming with the optic it is yeah. coming with the optic yeah I, well, you can buy it with or without the optic it. but it will be uh, I know kind of their first batch is primarily with that that 507k yeah. model on it so, so it'll awesome, be good dude. well hey I'm looking forward to seeing them man yep. Chad good. thanks for thanks taking the time clean. appreciate you guys thanks a lot all right guys you already know I'm back with my best friend Jeff over here at Christensen Arms <laughs> every show right? yes every, every show. show all right so you said these are hitting pretty hot this year so one thing that we've noticed our demographic of long-range precision shooters grows a lot every single year especially lately 
And so what we've done is we've made some modifications to the modern precision rifle to allow those guys to use this rifle more in a prone and a bench situation, even competitively. So this new MPR will feature a lot of the same features, a 20 minute rail, box magazine. We're gonna put a carbon fiber bolt knob on it. It does still feature this, the trigger text flat shoe trigger. And then the big thing is our steel barrel. Instead of contouring that barrel and wrap it in carbon fiber, they wanted a heavier firearm. So instead of putting weights on the handguard, we just left the weight on the barrel. So that's the competition barrel that we're going to use. This one right here is chambered in 6mm Creedmoor, which is probably the number one caliber for a lot of those guys looking to do that style of shooting. Right. So and then we still left our side port adjustable brake on there too. So, so if you're not interested in carrying a rifle and you want one more from the Subaru to the range and then back to the Subaru, yep. this rifle will do a great job for you. More, more competition minded than the other NPRs. Awesome, cool. And you also have one more gun you're gonna show us over here, right? We do, and this is really, we're really, really excited about this. So guys, we talked a little bit about this at SHOT Show, but Jeff's gonna give us a little little update, a little brief, you know, sure. catching up on what we got going on now. We'll, we'll see how the pregnancy's coming along here. The new modern hunting rifle, we've made a lot of progress on it. It's our modular hunting rifle, loosely based on the modern precision rifle. Right. We've got a hunting chassis with all these modular components that you can put on there. Every day we make more progress with getting this thing out there. It's getting closer and closer. I would guess in the next four months or so, we should have it in a place where we can put it in a box and send it to dealers. Nice. So it is alive and well. It is coming to your dealers very soon, and we're really, really excited about it. Yes. All right, guys, you heard it. We're getting it soon. All right, so what is this? Katie, this is big news for Christensen Arms. Finally in my hands, I'm holding a Flash Forge technology stock. This new FFT stock is the next step in the innovation of carbon fiber composites. And by going to this new technology, essentially, we've shaved one pound off of our normal sporter stock, our composite stock. And immediately when you pick that rifle up, you can tell. It's gonna feature a little bit different paint scheme on it. Mm -hmm. We've gone away from the webbing that was on all the old ones and gone to this paint scheme. In addition to the stock, we've got a carbon fiber bolt knob and even the hinge floor plate is gonna be a chopped carbon fiber hinge floor plate on there. We've shortened the barrel two inches and it's gonna feature instead of our radial brake on the regular ridge lines, mm -hmm. we've got our new RFR brake on there. I like that. And so it's gonna be lend itself pretty well to shooting from a bench or, or prone to if, if you decided to. So that's the new FFT stock. It's been very popular here. People cannot believe how lightweight it is. Oh, I know. When you handed it to me earlier, it's amazing. I was blown away. <laughs> and the great news is these guns are going in boxes and being sent to dealers right now. That's awesome. So, so this we, one's going home with me though, right? Is that Katie's gun? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you heard who, it, guys. He who, said okay. Who, who's going to tell her no, really? Oh, I found him again, guys. Hey, we all know 22 planes for Dave. He's probably really busy again this time. Uh, looks like it. Uh, you, you guys have seen it where I've talked to him before at like SHOT Show and things like that. I didn't want to really like bother him though, um, but this... Oh, hey, oh hey, dude, you're actually real this time. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. Good to see you, man. Well, last, dude, last time we hung out, we shot some scars. Yes, and we you did. And you spanked me. Um, uh, but not, uh, not You know, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was. But, uh, but <laughs> I get, I'm looking at you right now. You have no... All my limbs. Uh, you're not hurt. No. Nope. Because you filmed with Whistling Diesel. Yes, I filmed with him a couple times now. <laughs> yeah. And, um... I, I, every time he asks me to come over and film, I, I'm, I'm a little afraid of my life, so I have to make sure my insurance policy is like caught up on and everything yeah. like that. Um, but it, it's controlled chaos with him. Yeah, no, I, I, I believe it. You guys, if you haven't seen that video with 22 Plankster and Whistling Diesel, go check it out. I was watching it and I, I want one of those Hiluxes. Dude, I want four of those Hiluxes. Ugh. So it, it hurts so bad because he's yeah. like, yeah, I'll just order four of them from Japan and like send them over here to America to destroy them. And I'm just like, <sighs> it hurts. It hurts. But yeah. you know what? It's his stuff. It's his money. Yeah. He can do with it whatever he wants to. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that I'm still not sad about it. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think a lot of us feel that way. But dude, hey, it's good to see you again. Right. Pleasure, and uh, as always. And um, I gotta get a redeem. I, I gotta be like, I make a comeback somehow. So Anytime we gotta. Anytime you want to shoot, let's shoot. All right. All right. You, you always have an invitation to my house, man. Dude, appreciate it, man. Right, Thank appreciate you guys. It. Hey guys, we are over here with CAA. We have. Aaron again, yep, super excited. So you guys have some new things, like a lot going on here. Can you just break What's down a little bit of this stuff? Start here. 
first we got a Texas edition. Let's start okay. Yes, let's start Texas edition. Everybody. Yeah. Since we are in Texas at the NRA show, we did our Texas edition. It's our Gen 2. And as you can see, it's got the beautiful Texas flag on there with our 50 round drum. All right, but we'll talk about the more interesting thing here that we saw. So everybody likes. See, that's one of our accessories. It's a knife. <laughs> Just in case you gotta get into those close quarter, close quarter battles, or if you run out of bolts or expensive as ammo is, just go mm -hmm. touch that. Mm -hmm. Another thing we have, which I know you liked, we go medieval on you. We have our bayonet. All right. It's so another thing again. Ammo is expensive, and if you want to get up close and personal, there you go. That's your bayonet. I know you enjoyed that one. I did. I did. <laughs> that one caught my attention. I was like, that one's awesome. Um, also, what is on this guy here? So this is our glass breaker. We have um, a couple of our PDs that we work with that uh, needed something when they were doing their vehicle takedowns. And what they do is that you basically go through the window with this, they'll throw a flashbang in the window or whatever their um, techniques are at that time, and take out the side windows with this. You get locked out of your car, you can also use that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, and you said you have a new one that you guys yeah, so are working on here. we have our new Gen 3 charging handle. A lot of the people out there, they wanted something that the polymer was wearing off a little bit because obviously metal and polymer, eventually the metal right. is going to wear away at that. Mm -hmm. So with our Gen 3 charging handle, sorry about that. You're good. I'm just going to take it off you here real quick. It's an attachment to our back plate. So right now we're going to do the Glock models and we'll eventually get down to our SIG and our Smith & Wesson and everything else. So the way it's going to work is that with your, I'll just make sure it's safe, nothing in there. Take off your back plate, attach our back plate, and put it in the unit, and then if you're lefty or righty, depending on what side, you're going to just screw your charging handle in, the threaded side, and you're good to go. All right, and at that point, charge up. I need working. one of those on my daily. Yeah, I got you. Because my weak hands. Your weak hands. <laughs> Got you. Just quit. Just quit out there right now. You did. We saw it happen. You don't have weekends. Just in case you know, she sandbags a lot of people. We were out in North Carolina. She swore she couldn't shoot. And smoke Clint, by the way. Clint, I'm sorry. I had to say it. I watched it firsthand. Smoke. But I was also using one of these guys. Yes, you were. And these, so one thing that I noticed is I love these. The thumb rest. The, the thumb rest. Because it's so much easier. There's more, there's more like, I don't know. It's just so much easier to get a grip on it and hold it. And, so with the thumb rest, what it does, a couple of things here. It gives you another point of contact. The more point of contact, it gives you a more stable shooting platform. You can shoot further, faster, get back on sight faster. Another thing also, the way that it was created, the owner, Mr. Hartman, he made it where ergonomically it was his hand. He molded his hand and everything just fits perfect that way. God forbid you ever do get into a shooting or when you are shooting, dexterity goes out the window and a lot of times what we do, we get used to start grabbing here. Yeah. With the thumb rest there, it prevents that and it's a safeguard for all that. Yeah. So it's definitely a good point on that. And then another thing too, we had Crispy who was out there with us also. Yes. And he had a couple of situations with his fingers that he was having issues with and it helped him out a whole lot where he's able to just line his hand up there and guides him on to yeah. where he needs to go. So. Yeah, the thumb rest is definitely a good thing. Though. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Definitely a good thing. So is there anything else you want to show me? Right now, that's what we got going on. Um, we have Canix coming out soon. Hopefully, within the next two months, we're going to have a Canix line up. Yes. Oh, you exactly. know that makes me happy. It does make me happy. <laughs> it makes me happy. They're all warm inside. Um, we've got a Ruger American series coming out. We're going to have um, H&K soon, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, 1911, we should be doing something by the end of the year also. And then we have our X series of the 320s that should be hopefully done in the next, I would say, probably two months, we'll have all that done. Awesome. And then our Gen 3, which we talked about in Vegas. Yep. We're hoping to have all the R&D and everything done, hopefully within the next month. We should Sweet. have that out and about. But yeah, that's what we got awesome. going on. Well, I'm super excited. Thank you Definitely. so much Thank for taking time out of your day. It. We're over here now with the FN. We got Chris with us. Thanks. Good to see you again, yeah, man. Good to see you too. Absolutely. Now, you're holding a 509. Yep. But what's special about this guy? So this is the new 509 midsize tactical. So we've actually had the midsize in line for a long time and we wanted just to basically extend uh, basically all the tactical feature set that's on the compact tactical and the regular tactical onto the midsize frame. So it basically features a 15 round grip frame, obviously comes with a 24 round extended magazine, and then basically all the tactical uh, feature set that you, most of our customers have come to know and love. So cut for an MRD, so we have a Trigicon optic on here, uh, suppressor height night sights, uh, threaded barrel, uh, ambidextrous controls, magazine release slide stop. So basically, it's uh, you know if you only had to pick one 509, this would be the one that I'd recommend. Yeah, uh, well, it's awesome. I mean, well, it's a great size, and I love all the features, the extended mag too, and of course, you know, awesome looking gun. And uh, of course, too, we've got the uh, 
effing high power behind us. We've definitely showed it off at SHOT Show, and man, just, are, is it is it out yet? Is it being shipped? What, what are we looking at there? So we, they'll be out soon. Yeah. Uh, so we're working on basically, uh, the response in SHOT Show has been pretty overwhelming. Yeah. So basically what we're doing is we're working to kind of build production to kind of match the demand that we've seen in the market. So you'll probably start seeing them out in the market here very, very soon. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, we're looking forward to it. We got a couple of other products we can go check out, but Chris, thanks for the time, man. All right. Thank you. Now we're over here with Ben. Thanks again. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, good to be seen. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. And you've got a DMR setup over here now that you're to talk about what we got. Correct. This is the FN15 DMR3. It carries all the great features of the uh, TAC3 FN15 that came out last fall. Uh, the additional items the uh, DMR3 has is an 18 inch hammer forged barrel in 5.56 with a 1 and 8 twist. It has a Geisley two stage G2S trigger in it. Um, it has a pinned gas block, the rifle length system or the rifle length uh, gas system. So it's going to have a softer recoil increased precision, slightly heavier barrel, yeah. longer barrel. At the end of it is a Surefire Pro Comp uh, muzzle device. So all the features that a lot of shooters are going to want for a DMR star rifle. Yeah, that's excellent. I love the choice of the Pro Comp too, because you guys have that on your uh, your 20s that I that I absolutely love. Uh, but awesome looking stuff. And uh, we've got one other gun we're going to talk about. So let's go find that scar. So now we've got some pretty good looking scars over here. What you guys got going on here? So in 2022, uh, our camouflage selection for the scars is the multi-cam pattern from Cry Precision. Uh, available this year in all three members of the SCAR family, the 16S, 17S, and the 20S. Uh, last year was not available in the 16S, so 16S and 556, 17S and 762, and the 20S also in 762. Available in the hydrographically dipped receiver and trigger module frame with FDE accents on the rear stock, the pistol grip, and the magazine assembly. The bipods you see here are not included as part of the package, they're just here for demonstration. But it's the same great non-reciprocating scars you can pick up in black or FDE, available as a special make this summer for FN yeah. uh, in multi-cam. So. Yeah. Uh, but on top of that, too, can I just say thank you guys for making the non-reciprocating charging handle. That's, thank you. All right. <laughs> ben, hey, always good to talk with you. Okay, great. Thanks for stopping by. You got it. All right, guys, now we are over here with Tim from Browning. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. Uh, I noticed you guys have a little bit of throwback camo here. Can you explain a little bit about this? Yeah, so this is actually our old Browning camouflage from back in the 80s, 90s. Um, we developed this uh, hydrographic film specifically to match that camouflage pattern. So it's a retro pattern. We're calling it our vintage tan because back in the day we weren't real creative with names and it was just tan camo. That's yep. all we called it. So this is the vintage tan. Uh, we offered on our A5, which you see right here. We also offered on our silver, our Maxis, and it's you know it's eye catching, right? Oh, I definitely. would say so. Yeah, definitely caught my attention. Also. This guy caught my attention. Sure, so our Wicked Wing model is our upgraded version of the A5 waterfowl gun. Has an enlarged bolt release, extended goose band choke tube, um, and then all the other features of the, uh, the A5. Uh, I guess one thing you'll notice too is that it does have a uh, etching of the camo pattern in the Cerakote, which is pretty sweet also. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so if you had to pick one, which one of these are you going with? Are you, are you going OG or I'd go you're, going OG. you're going OG? I like full camo, yeah, I do. Nice, nice. All right, so you said you had one more to show us. Yeah, so yeah, we can go take a look at the rifles. Yes, let's go take a look at the rifles. Yeah. All right, so we have new camo now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we have the waterfowl pattern, and then we have what's our, what we're calling OVIX. Now, this is our big game pattern. Okay. Uh, we have it on our big game hunting rifles, and we also have a full line of clothing, too, that you can buy, so you can be a color coordinator, so I So this, guess. I yep. have this. Yep. And then an entire get up to match. Oh yeah, full ensemble. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so um, now it's set up for Western big game hunting. The coloration, grays, some tans, a little bit of green in there. Uh, Cerakote metalwork, and then this version in particular is our suppressor ready version. So you can see the the muzzle bells out a little bit, and then you have five eighths, twenty four threads that you can uh, attach the suppressor to. So awesome. Awesome. nice short little barrel too. So it's a full. You know, if you add a suppressor on there, it's a nice little compact gun. Awesome, awesome. And then also I want to talk about our X-Bolt target. Okay. Um, now this is newer. Um, we've got a slightly different receiver setup on this. The uh, the rail is actually pinned on to the receiver. 
And then we have a new trigger system. It's adjustable down to two and a half pounds. As you can see it here, it has detachable MDT magazine, our recoil hog muzzle brake, and a nice heavy target barrel on it too. Uh, the max stock here is fully adjustable. I mean, this this gun's is a pretty nice setup for a pretty affordable price. That's so. awesome. Thank you so much for yeah, your time. Welcome, I really course. appreciate it. Of course. We're over here now with P80, Polymer 80. We got Ron. Thanks for taking the time, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. What do you got in your hands today? So, brand new shipping this summer is our new optics cut slides that will come on our production pistols. So this is a direct RMR footprint that will go on. It all ships with an optics cover slot or uh, optics cover plate already on it. And we offer this in our full size, in our compact, in our subcompact, and we're doing them in black, gray, and FDE. And uh, like I said, it'll start shipping this summer. All the same great features you know and love about our PF series pistols, um, but now available with a standard RMR footprint for optics cut. Right. So that makes a lot of sense. RDS's red dot sights are becoming like the thing on firearms and if you're like me and you like to shoot in super low light settings night vision and stuff trying to do that with iron sights ain't gonna work you need a red dot uh, but awesome so what's what do we got now exactly the uh, the next new product we have is our new pf320 pistol so this is our take on the sig p320 uh, series which has been extremely popular and extremely successful um, and this is using our pf320 grip module that everybody already knows and loves and we're doing a complete firearm now so again Again, direct RMR footprint comes with an optics cover plate on it already. Worn tactical sights on there. All of them will ship with a magwell, and uh, we're super excited about this. Start to see this towards the end of summer, and this is our new PF320 pistol. Gotcha. And it's, do you have the capability of co-witnessing, depending on the type of optic? Depending on the type of optic you're running, then yeah, you will be able to co-witness with these sights. They're a little bit higher than what you would have with yeah, standard which, arms. Which is awesome. Great, man. Also, I got a question. I keep yes, seeing sir. these guys kind of, kind of walking around with like the AFT all over the place. What what does that mean? Yeah. So you can see here on our shirts. AFT is our spin on uh, what you know yeah, Biden's yeah, little yeah. vocal blunder is, yeah. but uh, basically it means assemble for thyself. Yeah. And uh, that's the spirit of Polymer 80, trying yeah. to do everything we can to responsibly give everybody the tools and materials they need to produce their own firearms. That's awesome. So guys, get out there, get out there, build your own firearms, and uh, exercise your Second Amendment right. Ron, thanks, man. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having me. You got it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the part one. Yes. of day one. Part two will be coming out tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to bring you the closest to live coverage as possible. And uh, maybe we'll visit Springfield Armory. I don't think th they weren't at shot, right? No, they don't, I don't think so. So anyway, yeah. long ago. <laughs> so hopefully we'll run into them over there in just a few minutes. Yep. Uh, Smith & Wesson, of course. And to let us know down in the comments, uh, who are some manufacturers that you know are here or some vendors that you know are here that you really want us to go and talk to? Let yeah. us know. What's been your favorite thing so far? Uh, dude, I really like the bayonet over at CAA. <laughs> I haven't even seen that, but... Oh. It just threw me for a loop and I was like, you know what? Go for it. That's pretty cool. SAR, if you're caught with one of SAR's hats as they're walking around, uh, you have the potential to get tapped on the shoulder and told that you just want a SAR 9. So oh. that's, that's pretty cool. That's, so, yeah, that is pretty cool. So if you're in the area, come check it out. It's been a good time. Now let's roll right back into it. Stay tuned for part two.